Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 20th to the 26th of December and welcome back to the channel. As you can see I'm burning the candles because this week it will be Christmas and I'm just burning the candles as I usually do um, in prayer and to ask for blessings for people that for all of us and especially for people that won't have the Christmas that we will have. Also just to remind us of the gratitude and what we have and that we can be with our families and all friends and celebrate Christmas. I think Christmas is too commercial so um, I'm just celebrating the spiritual side. So I do wish everybody will have a beautiful Christmas and also uh, that you will have many many blessings thank you very much for your subscriptions and your likes and shares and it's been awesome and I hope you will remain to do that <coughs> excuse me I do have an allergy or a cold um, it's been oh, or I've been speaking too much I'm sorry okay so there is also something new um, we are in Capricorn, or we're going into Capricorn on the eight, uh, 21st and the full moon will be on the 18th. So have a look at the full moon energy and characteristics video and use the energy to your advantage. I'm using the Tarot of the Kingdoms and also Charles Dickens, the Angel Feather, the Color uh, Oracle and the Romance Oracle. If we reach 3,000 or before Christmas or uh, between Christmas, preferably on Christmas Day, because that's what I've been saying throughout the videos, um, but I will extend it to New Year. Um, if we reach 3,000, then I'm going to go live in 2022 and to celebrate and also to give you my thanks, I will be going live and give everybody a free four card reading. So make sure that we get up to the 3,000 and make it happen that our channel will be recognized as growing fast and also being recognized uh, by the Alpha Rhythm to put us out there and to make our family larger and better, even more bit exciting. Okay, please um, subscribe and if you don't want to be notified, Hit the bell on private uh, so long you subscribe the alpha rhythm will do its best thank you beforehand now the energy that you are in Scorpio is um, the energy that you are in are at the moment is the fiery energy but we're going to an earthly energy so that will be a changing drastic change as well and remember we're in the last quarter in the in the last eclipse of this year so by all means have a look at the moon and characteristics video you come in with the queen of air so you could be dealing with a libra you there could be a prominent libra around you also the queen of air is a person and that has her emotions under control but she's still a wonderful lady a warm-hearted lady but when she has to think on her feet she has to keep her emotions under control to get through to cut through to the core of things to find things out usually you will find this person to be an advisor or a presentator a lawyer an advocate somebody that works for institutions or for municipalities people that um, are also bookworms eager to learn knows the letter of the law so those are the type of people you will meet in this um, element or with this element it is Libra mainly but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius that's the overall energy so they will be a good a friend for you they'll they are loyal they want the truth they want transparency and they'll protect you and fight on your behalf also what we have is the son of wands the son of fire 
The sun means the night. The night represents news, but also an opportunity uh, will be presented or could be presented to you. So make sure that you're focused on what is happening around you. Also, it means moving home. This is the only night that means moving home. So be prepared. There could be big changes for you coming in. In the beginning of the week on the 20th, because this is the 20th to the 26th of December, this reading, you come in with the Eight of Fire, the Eight of Wands. Like I said, things could be happening very fast now, so make sure that you are focused on what is happening around you. You could be going on holiday, you could be traveling for work, um, you could be traveling to see family, um, you could also um, get messages through cyber, email, text message or telephone calls. And underneath the Eight of Fire, we have the Ten of Cups. So this is ultimate happiness. Whoa, nice one. And this is the Charles Dickens card. I just love them. Not only because they're horizontal, but they're just so... The storytelling and the pictures come from Victorian times. And I just love the, 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 com, um, the way they are, are pictured and explained. The composition as well. It just looks like a picture in a picture frame. I just love these this deck. You've got the Ten of Cups, so there's ultimate happiness. Now, it could be expansion in the family. That means there could be a pet coming in or pet. somebody might be giving you a dog or a cat for Christmas. Or you could find out that you're pregnant. Expansion. There you go. The family is getting another addition. Or perhaps uh, parents-in-law or your father and mother might be coming to live with you. You could be moving home. You could ex be expanding the home. You could be modernizing or uh or refurbishing the home you could be moving home you could be getting married this means ultimate happiness like the ace of cups the ten of cups means that there is a cycle finished there's an ending coming to emotional difficulties and there will be a new better face starting with ultimate happiness so there you go that could be the news good news is on its way you also have the lovers. The lovers means you could be dealing or meeting or there could be a prominent Gemini around you, but you could also be meeting um, your soulmate. Your soulmate could be your partner, but it could also be a best friend for life. And they could be a Gemini, like I said, but you're definitely in balance. You also have the seven of coins. The seven of coins means what you sow, you shall reap. But remember, it takes, once you have sown seeds, it takes time to grow and to come to blossom before you can reap the harvest. Now, you've got six, seven, eight, so you are going up. Yes, and then definitely going up emotionally and you're going to be totally happy. If you've already sown seeds, then you could be harvesting them this week, around midweek. But remember, time is man-made. You also have the Queen of Water. The Queen of Water is Scorpio. So perhaps you might have sown seeds in Scorpio and now it's coming to fruition. You might have met somebody in, in June where, where in, or end of May in the Gemini time. And now the full circle is coming round. You might be getting married or engaged. Woo, nice one. Again, um, this queen, the queen of cups, the queen of water. She is a nurturing, caring, loving, sensual, sexy person. So if you're not uh, dealing with a Scorpio or have met a Scorpio, um, then you could be taking a page out of her book and making yourself more sensual and sexy for the parties that are coming up. You also have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords means that you could have sleepless nights, you might be worrying about something. Don't, because you've got beautiful cards. You've, you're meeting your soulmate, or you know that you are with your soulmate. Happy families, boom. 
and then I get to hear this song happy fan uh, no happy times are here again and I think that is from the series some mothers do have them or it's it um it's yeah some mothers do have them or the uh, uh, it is hot here it was a comedy series it was fun so yes the fun is in the air so leave your problems and your stress next to your clothes at night and give it to the divine or the angels and they will bring in the happiness okay they will bring in the clarity so that you can be happy and fulfilled nurturing sense sensual and sexy and loving and caring and passionate then you can be happy 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 nine means an ending so there will be an ending to worries and there will be a better face breaking through for you now you also have the world now i love this card because literally you see the card or the map of the world all over the world and i love all the different cultures on it it's really victorian looking it's it's lovely okay so the world yes the world means completion as well the world means going on to the next level i told you if you meet, have met somebody in june you could be getting engaged or you could be getting married awesome and this is the confirmation again we have um taurus here we've got leo here we've got scorpio so scorpio is quite prominent where did i see scorpio uh the queen of water so there again scorpio or aquarius you this is also my karma card the karma will be returned to you threefold if somebody's done you wrong or good they will get their karma the same with you you'll get it back threefold you have to believe in yourself that you've done good because you've got such wonderful cards you've invested in the right people or in the right job or in the right um, thing you will see your returns most probably tenfold instead of threefold because the energy for all the readings have been so positive and so great um, brilliant you could be traveling you could be moving home like i said you could now you could be moving home because you're expanding the family you could have uh, found the right job uh, or you've had promotions that makes you ultimately happy so definitely a uh, wow reading so far also you could be working from home and you could be expanding because this also means expansion going on to the next level this could also mean that you could be working on the web you could be working on internet and you could be uh, working 50 50 like i said you could be working traveling for work uh, you could be tra literally traveling here it doesn't have to be only a holiday you could be traveling the world uh, for because of your work and perhaps you could be back on Christmas Day Woo! nice one to celebrate Christmas with the family also <clears throat> uh, you could be meeting somebody on the web if you're looking for somebody and it could be Taurus Leo Scorpio or Aquarius good luck to you and this is 21 and that becomes a three so be creative but be careful if you're meeting people on the web okay don't believe everything you see on the web or on internet <clears throat> for the angel feather card you have a practical approach is required and the color is brown the brown angel feather um, earth yourself be sober when you meet people um, don't believe everything everybody tells you protect yourself in other words the angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment one step at a time so if you meet somebody new you can't get married straight away you have to get to know themselves you, you you'll have to get to know them okay so sober up and stand with two feet on the ground 
You've also got from the color card, you've got number 36, which is a nine. So there again, you've got an other nine. So watch out for double numbers, nine and nine. Okay. Um, yes, nine, nine. And you've got azure, and azure is blue. But in this uh, photo, I also see the sun. So you are in the spotlight, and it says protect yourself. I've already said that. Protect yourself on the web. Okay. Wow. So for the attraction, uh, for the romance card, we have attraction. You attract romantic love and by enjoying this moment fully. Well, this could be if you're hooked up, this could also be that you might be attracting somebody that fancies you, but you could also be attracting friends. You see? Friends, your soulmate. Okay. So don't worry. Now, there was an other number. No, I can't find it. Okay, so I hope you um, have enjoyed this reading. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Be blessed, stay safe, protect yourself. Make sure, use your common sense, right? Um, here, no, with the, the world card. You've, you've got luck on your side, definitely. What with the 10 and the 7? This is a 7. So you are going up and st stand, stay strong. And go for what you want. Get clarity. If you're signing any documents, you might need some professional advice. Okay? Look at the small print. Check it out. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for your support. And I hope to see you in the life on Wednesday, Friday or Saturday, depending on uh, whether I'm collaborating or not, um, or in the next video. Take care, my Scorpios. Be proud of yourselves. You've done well this year. I'm proud of you. Thank you.